Welcome to St. Ignatius Chapel. Today we celebrate the second Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our celebrant today is Jesuit Father Bruce Puerter. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather celebrating the love of God, His healing, and His forgiveness. All of those times when we have not loved, not forgiven, not sought forgiveness, we ask now the Lord's pardon. You came to heal the contrite of heart, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to reconcile us to yourself and to one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You came that we might have a new and abundant life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sin and bring us to a new and everlasting life. Amen. And now let us give glory to God. Glory, glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. And now the Lord says, Who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. I waited. I waited for the Lord, and he stooped down to me. He heard my cry. He put a new song into my mouth. Praise of our God. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. You delight not in sacrifice and offerings, but in an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Then I said, see, I have come. See, I have, I have come, come, Lord, to do your will. will. In the scroll of the book, it stands written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. 
Your instruction lies deep within me. See, I have, I have come, come, Lord, to do your will. will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. The beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called by the will of God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God which is at Corinth, to those sanctified in Jesus Christ, called to be saints together with all those in every place, call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. To all who received him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks before me, for he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this I came baptizing with water, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness. I saw the Spirit descend as a dove from heaven and remain on him. I myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and have borne witness that this is the Son of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. The extract from the prophet Isaiah is a dialogue between the Messiah and Yahweh. Now, what stands out in that dialogue is the characteristic used to describe the Messiah, whom we now know is Jesus. The characteristic is not all-powerful or glorious but the word used is servant. That's how our Messiah, our Savior, is characterized. Now the Son, the Messiah, came to fulfill a purpose. And that purpose, according to God, was to bring back the scattered children of the covenant back to their creator. But even more, this is the point we see again and again proclaimed by the prophets. He was to throw open wide the salvation of God to everybody, to the very ends of the earth. No one was to be excluded. When you think about it, Jesus did not seem to be very successful as this. Messiah. He died rejected by most of his fellow Jews, surrounded by a few men and women, unimportant and despised. He hadn't ventured out to the Holy Land. He did not have hordes of converts among foreigners within Israel, 
or even outside of its borders. By all accounts, he was not a great success. Not when we measure it against the expectations created by Isaiah. In the gospel, John gives us an idea why our expectations of glory and success are basically unfulfilled. Look at the title that he uses when he addresses Jesus. He calls him the Lamb of God. The Lamb from the book of Exodus is the animal that is slain so that through its blood the angel of death might spare the Israelites. And so this reconciliation that Jesus was to win was not going to be the easy glory of a triumphant king come with all his armies of angels to kill the enemies. It was not a path of worldly glory. Rather, it was the lonely, difficult, and heartbreaking journey to the cross. Now that's why this section of the prophet Isaiah is called the suffering servant because we see that Christ served his father and ultimately each one of us by suffering for us. We celebrate that reconciliation one for us every time we celebrate Mass. And the celebrant holds up the consecrated host and tells us, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. It's John's gospel that connects the suffering Lamb, the suffering servant, with his baptism. It is baptism that confers not only belonging to Christ, but it also makes us sharers in his mission. Our success, like glory, needs to be through God's strength, in God's sight, and in God's time. And now we profess our faith in this suffering Messiah, the Father who sent him, the Spirit who remains with us. I believe in God, the Father oh, Almighty, Christ, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The love of God embraces all peoples. God's kindness knows no limit. Therefore, we now place our hope in God as we offer these petitions. For the shepherds and guardians of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work for the unity of all Christians, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are considering an abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those who defend the sanctity of human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are hungry, homeless, or exploited by the powerful of this world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray with Pope Francis that educators may be credible witnesses, teaching fraternity rather than competition, and helping the youngest and most vulnerable above all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of our strength, hear our prayers. May our unity with you and each other be the living sign of your presence in our divided world. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. This is the mingling of the water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, humble himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. This is God forever. Please with this grace we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sin. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that these gifts that we bring will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us, you change our hearts, and you prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit you move human hearts, that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and peoples seek to meet each other. By the working of your power it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with all the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves are turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord so that, converted at last to you, 
we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. When he was about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take the soul of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the cup of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and then, giving the cup to his disciples, he said, Take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love. We offer you what you have given us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly ask you to accept us together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, fill us with his Spirit, the Spirit that takes away everything which separates us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, with Botit Lachale, our bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you've gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles and martyrs, with all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who've died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord, for it is through him, and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And grant us peace in our day, by the help of your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. To share with one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take, take your away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. So, my brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy that you should enter and marry, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Although you cannot receive physical communion with us now, we invite you into a moment of spiritual communion. The great medieval theologian, St. Thomas Aquinas, defined spiritual communion as an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the Holy Sacrament and a loving embrace as though we had already received him. His words are echoed by the great mystic and fellow doctor of the Church, St. Teresa of Avila, who wrote, When you do not receive communion and do not attend Mass, you can make a spiritual communion which is a most beneficial practice. By it, the love of God will be greatly impressed on you. At this moment, we invite you to focus on Christ and your longing for union with Him. Express your desire to feel His grace coursing through you, giving you strength and courage, particularly in these difficult times. In your desiring union, you are united with us and to Christ. In this moment, we experience the reality that is already here. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread one in mind and heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace and give God glory with your lives. Thanks be to God.